Well, let's get started. Hey guys, today Timmy and I are back with another adventure. And today we'll be trying to defeat a new enemy that has crossed paths with us. Yeah, and this time we'll be fighting a big bad flower named Daisy. We don't know what it's all about or how it came here, but all we need to know is that it's a bad omen and we have to get rid of it ASAP. All right, let's build the defenses. Firstly, we're going to be building a huge wall of barbed wire. We might as well make it into a two-block tall fence as well. Got ya, Eric. I'm going to be following your lead. You gotta be careful with placing these down quickly, because as you can see, misplacing them accidentally is gonna be a big issue. So, what did these do exactly, Eric? Well, barbed wire is barbed. So, since Daisy is a flower, and a flower is a plant, and plants really don't like sharp things, then this will be perfect. Okay, now that the front end of the barbed wire fence is done, it's time to change ankles and go on to the sides. Keeping up with the whole anti-plant thing, we'll be placing down toxic spikes like this on the ground. Okay, I'll go ahead and do this side while you do that one. Nice one, buddy. We gotta keep this kind of teamwork up so we can finish before sundown. Now it's time to add another row to the toxic spikes. Why do we need more than one row again, Eric? Well, since Daisy probably won't be walking on every single toxic spike, then more rows will make the chances of it getting hurt higher. All right, these toxic spikes aren't exactly DIY, so they'll be needing a redstone signal for them to activate. So that's why we have all this redstone and repeaters here. Huh, actually, I think we have to redo some of these repeaters. What for? I thought they were fine already. Just some tweaks and a lever. There we go. Okay, now we just have to hook up all the other spikes that aren't getting a signal to the central one. Okay, I got it. This next one is gonna be something you really love, Timmy. So place some blocks on the ground, then put a shield pad so we can set up the lasers. Lasers? Yay, my favorite! Unless I'm the one getting hit by them. I hate that. Just align the block with the shield pad well and put a block with the actual laser on it and that's it. Nice, that seems really easy. And you know me, I love the easy traps to set up. Me too, but don't forget that we have to make them deadly. Right. What will also be doing is put blocks in the middle to make segments of the lasers. This will make sure that they transmit well to the other side. Is that going to be all that we put down in this trap? Huh, not yet. I noticed that with a lot of our defenses, the enemies just go through the lasers like it's nothing. So I think we should be putting something underneath to slow them down, and that's mud. I see. If we place down these mud blocks under the lasers, then Daisy will get slower and take more damage from the lasers. Not just that, but if we make the mud blocks go in a two wide block row, then we'll be able to make Daisy go even slower. Then maybe we can even get some good hits in the meantime. Sounds like a plan. I bet Daisy won't even know where to hit it when it comes barreling through here. All right, let's move on to the next trap, Timmy. And this one is gonna be a bit explosive. TNT, let's go. This just keeps getting better and better, you know? In this hole to the void right here, a floor of TNT is gonna be great. Yeah, I remember what you taught me about TNT being a block that turns into an entity, and that's why you can fall through it, like sand. Speaking of sand, we'll actually be placing down some sand here at the top as another layer. What for, Eric? Isn't the TNT floor already enough? Well, Timmy, I don't want us to manually light the TNT up because that just sucks. Instead, we'll be using the sand as another one of those entities blocks you mentioned. Then, if we place down a layer of pressure plates, Daisy basically has no other chance but to fall through. <laughs> nice, Eric. This plan is going to be foolproof. Let's keep going.
Alright, so next step is gonna be the defenses we have for ourselves, of course. By placing down dispensers in this manner, we can create a little armory setup for us. It'll just spit out the gear and voila! Wow, sounds like a fast way to equip all our gear, huh? Yep, it's just gonna be a matter of what we put in there. And since we're going up against a pretty big and powerful foe today, I think we're gonna be needing something that's really heavy duty. How about that really cool gun, Eric? Oh yeah, I think I know exactly what you mean buddy. Let's test out this Grim Reaper first and oh yeah, that's gonna do it to Daisy. Nice. Let's be careful not to destroy our traps though. We're gonna need something smaller though. Something that won't instantly blow up half of our traps, but something that'll still do a ton of damage in the long run. That flamethrower will do nicely, Eric. Okay, now that we have our special weapons out of the way, it's time to put some of the bare necessities inside these dispensers. After all, we can't really go far without them. Yeah, like food and stuff. I don't want to get hungry in the middle of the fight and suddenly not have enough hunger to heal with. Golden apples might do the trick, Eric. The shiny blue gold ones. Good idea, Timmy. We'll have that. You know what? While we're at it, I'm gonna put some golden armor in there too for defenses. Gotta look stylish. <laughs> yeah, Eric, that's good. This enemy is pretty strong and maybe even netherite armor might not be enough for it. So let's just go with fashion. All right, guys, as with all of these security defenses, when the moon rises, so does the enemy. So the fight starts now. I'm ready mentally, Eric. Let's go get our stuff for it. Good. Don't freeze on me, all right? Let's take this stupid flower down tonight. Let's go, Eric. I think we have to provoke it to come closer. We can't beat it if it doesn't come after us, after all. Nice thinking. Let's do it. Use the flamethrower to burn it. All right, it looks like the fire is working on it. Take that, you stupid plant. I'm not a vegan. It's caught on the barbed wire. Let's go. Deal some damage using the flamethrower since it's already taking damage from the fence. We might not even need to have this fight take long if we take it down here. It's coming through slowly though, Eric. Ugh, can't these flamethrowers shoot any faster? We're running out of time here. We might have to fall back and activate the toxic spikes. There, it's poisoned. But oh no, the spikes don't slow it down. So it's gonna come through them a lot quicker than expected. This is bad. Fall back. I repeat, fall back. To the house! Come on, Timmy! I'm baiting it away from you as much as I can. Take the time to come up with a plan, Timmy. Eric, you're the one who makes plans here! Cut me some slack! Let me bait it instead! Just torch it! All right, I'm sorry if this hurts, Timmy, but you're gonna get hit no matter what happens. You still have the saturation effect from the god apple, so you're safe, though. That hurt a lot, Eric, but it's all right. Let's just find a way to take this thing down because for a giant plant, it's pretty resistant to fire. I know. Remember that TNT trap we set up? That was supposed to be there as a fail safe. But since this isn't looking all that good, we might as well lead it through the house to it. Wait, Eric, that might damage the house, though. Let's not use it yet and try outsmarting it with our moves. Who knows? That might be the thing that gets it. Alrighty then, Timmy. That's some nice quick thinking right there. But I'll have to tell you how proud I am later. Let's kill this murderous flower first. I have an idea. What if we keep luring it out onto the lawn, through the traps over and over until it dies? All right, let's bounce the aggro of Daisy until we stop it for good. But if all else fails, let's lead it to the TNT trap so it can fall into the void. Eric, Daisy's aggro is on me. I'll let it chase me while you take a chunk of its HP away with the flamethrower. Come on. I got you. I just got to catch up first, though. You guys got really far away from me, you know. Really? You burned me again. Is it that hard to aim at the big flower? If it's any consolation, I don't mean to. You're just sprint jumping so you get hit. Come on, let's go up there. We have to lead it into the void TNT trap now. I just ran out of the god apple effects, so I'm very vulnerable. Eric, you're getting damaged by it. Find a way to transfer the aggro to me so you don't die and jump to the platform. I'll follow. I'm here, Timmy. Come on, jump over here. I don't want you dying on me. Aha! It fell! 
Wow, we did it, Eric. We won. I was really scared for a second there, you know. What matters is that we didn't die. Well, guys, that was it for today's adventure. Don't forget to leave a like and comment on the video. Goodbye.